Dr. Kemi Lawrence for Kemi Talks Media. It's Monday, the 2nd of December, 2024. Let's talk about this story I did yesterday about six girls allegedly missing after a birthday party in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. A young lady came online and she made a video and said that the girls vanished into thin air. They don't know where they are. And it raised a lot of alarms. Well, this morning I woke up and I find my name everywhere on everywhere. Okay, my video was trending everywhere and look at the views on here, TikTok, where I made the video. This video was watched over half a million times and it was shared 3,700 times plus and it's still counting. And at the end of the day, we haven't heard a thing about these six girls that were missing. What I did was a video that basically highlighted, you know, child trafficking, girl trafficking and the situation that happened in our show state where those girls went to the party and they vanished as well and they found them all in Kano ready to be bundled up to Libya to be sold as slaves into sex trade. At the end of the day one or two of them escaped after the GHB ran out the drug they put in the party drinks and they fled and they went to police and told police the whole whatever happened to them. The traffickers were males, Yoruba males, and they arrested them. So this is what I talked about on this, my video, a bulk of what I talked about. And I also gave parents safety tips when their children are going to house parties, what they need to know about that house. It's now exactly 26 hours since I made this video a day ago. And we haven't heard anything about any missing girls. So I'm out of Nigeria and I contacted the Nigerian police in the Lekki area and at the force headquarters and they're telling me there are no reports of anybody missing. In other words, six girls must have 12 parents at least, or at least six parents, six to 12 parents, and no one has reported this. So the reason I'm making this very video now is to explain to some of you young people out there, Gen Zs, the way you're using this internet is getting really bad. The young lady that put this tip out is nowhere to be found. She could have done it for views. Okay, don't cry wolf if these things happen. She could have done it for views. She could have done it for money. She could have done it for clout. But this is what a journalist does. And this is why I'm always begging for money to support my work because it costs a lot of money to be running around doing an investigation that was never was. This happened to me with the BOMI case. When they sent me a news tip, I wanted to verify the contents of that news tip. And I only posted part of it and I used allegedly, alleged, you know, and it still arrested me, which they shouldn't have. So now it's like you're running around, you get locked up in prison, all the stuff that happened to me. I don't get news tips anymore. I don't want them. I don't want to take them. This girl did not give us a news tip. Okay, she simply posted a video online and everybody bought it because she knows that bloggers will feed on it. Journalists like me will feed on it and do a feedback and opinion people. Not everybody spoke about it, but it's a dangerous thing that happens and it's not something we play around with. So to conclude my video, the police so far said no one has made any reports to them. Thanks for watching. Please don't do cry wolf. Because when these things happen in real life, nobody will come to save you. No journalist will be there. I've said my own.